right here. Cause I put together a compilation of top 10 motorcycle safety tip video clips out of all the videos I've done over the years to help keep you safe and keep you from having a real effed up day. Let's go for a ride. This is the best helmet I've ever owned. Ultra lightweight carbon fiber helmet with auto tint shield. My motor vlog camera airbag vest to help keep me safe. I have links to all of my gear in the description and comment section of this video. Anybody that rides without a helmet is a stupid dumb ass. I don't want to hear any excuses either. I want to hear because your, your scalp gets sweaty or you break out with zits or you can't afford, you don't want to pay the extra money for a helmet, it costs too much to get a good helmet, or it makes you look like a bobblehead. I don't want to hear none of them bull ass excuses no more, man. You go down without a helmet and bust your head real good, man. You doing all right, brother? <laughs> yeah, we got a squid here, guys. Dude's got tennis shoes, jeans, leather vest, high vis, do rag, and some lokes. Obviously, this dude is more concerned about looking cool than staying safe. But trust me, if he goes down on this belt sander road, it's not he's not gonna look too cool. Wear the gear, don't be a fool. But stop that talk. Stop the oh, you scared of accidents, I'm scared you're gonna get hurt, all uh, oh, that stuff. Uh, get out of here with that. Talk, man. Be a good man. Like a soldier going out to battle. You don't hear soldiers out there with talk and they're going out to on the front lines with enemies shooting at them. They go in there with a strong mindset. That's what you have to be out here on the streets. That's how you have to hit the mindset you need on the streets. Like you're going into battle. These cars are your enemies. You gotta have a tactical plan. Can't be a little bitch. You gotta have the heart of a soldier. And if you don't have, you don't think you have what it takes out here on the, to ride out here on the streets, then keep your cane ass at home. Cars making a left hand turn in front of you. You know, that's common. Cars, they don't, they say they don't see you, they pull out and you nail the car, you end up getting ejected and having a real effed up day. You need to treat each and every one of these cars as though they are going to hit you from the back, they're going to pull out in front of you and they're going to, they're going to cross the double yellow and hit you. Animals are going to run out in front of you. You, you got to be on your toes. You got to have ninja skills. You got to see that you got to ride, like I said, as though you're going to be attacked out here. You know, should something happen, you'll be ready because you're expecting it. If you're riding around here without a care in the world, then you're you're gonna you're a sitting duck, man, because you're not going to be ready. As far as preventing cars from pulling out on you, you know that are getting ready to make a left turn, you need to pay attention to them before you approach them. You need to look them in the eyes. You know, see if they're, make sure they're looking at you. If they're not looking at you, you need to get their attention. Hit the horn. He knows, he knows. Yeah, yeah, I'm here, baby. And be ready to react if they're not gonna, if you still can't get their attention. If you see their car inching forward and also pay attention to the car, if it's inching forward, it's a high chance this car is gonna pull out in front of you, man. They do stupid stuff, man. See that, look at that. You gotta stay sharp out here, boy. That's where this airbag vest comes into play they actually did a testing with a guy that ran into a car that made a left hand turn and got ejected from the bike and he had the airbag vest and it saved him kept him he walked away without a scratch i'll have a link to it and all of my other gear in the description and comment section of this video getting nailed from the back by a car from your rear you know rear end collision that is scares i think most riders out there, that's like the number one thing they're probably afraid of is getting nailed from the back where they're most vulnerable. I'm gonna give you some tips here as far as cars behind you, the tips for you. You need to pay attention to these cars, the characteristics of the cars behind you and their uh, proximity to you. 
if you see them like uh, weaving if you see them speeding you know coming up to you real fast you need to get away from these people man you need to get on the gas get over here if you have to change lanes let them pass or pull if it's a single lane get over here in a parking lot let them do anything to get them away from you man a lot of riders don't pay attention to the characteristics of these cars you know and you should be you need to treat each and every one of these cars as though they are going to hit you from the back they're going to pull out in front of you and they're going to they're going to cross the double yellow and hit you also the third danger which is extremely dangerous out here and uh is where cars will cross the double yellow oncoming cars you gotta be careful fools like this these cars here say they're texting or something and they veer over into your lane and a lot of you riders out there believe that you should be riding you know left of center right here where you're most visible they, they tell you that you're most visible in this position but I will tell you guys if you stay in this position you are playing Russian roulette I've told you that in many videos in the past because you have little reaction time should this car right here immediately cross over you're done as where over here you have a little better chance because you can see them gradually you know veering over and you can immediately crank the throttle or even if you have to bail out over here to the right do whatever you have to do to save your life but if you're hanging over here all the time man don't count on cars seeing you because oftentimes they don't see us out here you see i'm out here talking with my hands <laughs> nobody looks at me nobody's paying attention man one of the biggest areas you have to be concerned with is when you're getting ready to make a turn out of a street or a parking lot this is a high risk area of getting t-bone and i'll tell you guys i almost nearly got t-bone the mistake that i made was that I stayed here, I waited for a while, but I didn't wait for the, the road to be completely clear. I saw a car getting ready to make a turn, and I, uh, I went ahead and made the turn because the car was getting ready to make the turn, but there was a car hiding by the side of it that was out of my sight line, and it came shooting out of nowhere when I made that turn and damn near T-boned me. Luckily, he hit the brakes, but and I froze up like a little but I you know I it was such a shock I wasn't expecting that but the what I should have did is I should have waited until the road was completely clear panicking that is probably a, that is a huge huge cause of so many unnecessary accidents out here because so many people they panic and and they they hit all front brake and if they don't have a bike that has combined ABS that activates both the front and rear brake and you're not doing you're not using the front and rear brake like you should uh, make sure they see you guys defensive riding one-on-one -on -one. Uh, make sure they if they can't see they hear you yeah they see a car that pulls out on them or something they, they hit off front brake and, and they lose control of their bike and they crash unnecessarily. I've seen a lot of, uh, even seasoned riders I've seen do this. Definitely want to practice 70% front brake, 30% rear. Now I know some people will tell you different percentages. Do it all the time. Do Tip, do your gear change and braking before you approach a corner. As a new rider, do not change gears or brake mid-corner. This could cause you to crash. Also, make sure to keep your eyes focused on where you want to go because your bike will go where you are looking. Look through the turn, not just at the apex. Don't look in front of you. Instead, look ahead of you. You know, one thing that noobs, the mistake they make is when they're hitting the twisties, hitting corners, that they break in the corners. And unless you know how to do trail braking, you want to avoid braking in the corners. You want to do all your braking before corners. Oh, ah, ah. 
can be very dangerous if you're looking over here and it's going to a place you don't want to go because your bike's going to follow to where you're looking a lot of times and that's what's called target fixation you're here and you're looking over here and you won't even realize but your bike will probably gradually go to where you're looking you want to always look to where you're going that's where your bike's gonna go and you're making that turn see there's a turn coming up here i want to look to where i'm going to the right that's where my bike is going to go if i'm looking over here it's a tendency for my bike to follow to where i'm looking which you don't want to do like i said that's target fixation if you stay fixated on a target and your bike's going there and that can get you into trouble that's only happened to me one time and it happens to the best of riders out there guys i mean it's happened to to racers out there they just you just get fixated especially depending on how fast you're going that's why you really don't want to be going super fast out here on the streets because it leaves you with very little reaction time i highly recommend that you wear high vis gear because it's going to help you be seen better out here on the streets some people say it doesn't make a difference but i will tell you personally since i've changed the high vis gear i get a lot of looks from people that may think i look like a, a nerd out here wearing this type of these colors but that's okay i don't care what they think i just want them to see me and i get more looks with it if i get more looks they're looking out for me and it's going to help keep me safe at the end of my Biker Chicks Wanted Moto Vlog, a guy in a pickup truck saw me on my bike with my high-vis neon rain jacket and pulled up next to me and said, Thank you, buddy. That's good thinking. And I tell you, if you wear all black, you look like a big blind spot. A lot of times, I, I've, I haven't... You know, I've missed waving to riders that have rode by because they were had a black black bike, all black gear, and man, they go they went by just like a ghost. And imagine to cars that aren't paying attention on their cell phones, and they look up and they don't pay attention, and just you know, they see this this uh, you know motorcycle rider in all black, they can't see. It's like a blind spot to them, and they pull out on you. So, in my opinion, it's really dangerous wearing all black gear, although it looks cool. Don't get me wrong, it looks very cool. But I would rather look like a dork wearing high-vis colors and staying safe out here on the streets than looking suave and ending up in a wheelchair or six feet under trying to look cool and good for the ladies out here on the streets. I hope these safety tip videos help you stay safe and I wish you guys all the best but you know what I've got more safety videos if you want to see them go to my website cyclecruiser.com click on the menu tab my videos and I have a playlist there called motorcycle safety videos go check it out for those but anyways guys don't forget to subscribe to my all in one motorcycle channel and check out my other channel book out moto deuces thumbs up check out my playlist for new riders and popular videos don't forget to comment and subscribe and check out my other channel, Bug Out Moto, where I customize a van for my motorcycle so I can live in my van with my motorcycle and travel across the country anywhere. Subscribe to my YouTube channel, Bug Out Moto.